Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to do an extreme cleaning in our apartment. I'm going to change the sheets, do laundry, wipe the furniture, mop the floor, and wash the dishes. This is what I basically do every day because I'd like to clean the house before my husband gets home so that, you know, he can mess it up again at night. So you know I want to show you first how messy the house is before I start cleaning so that we can both appreciate it later. Anyway, let's get started! I change our sheets every week and when I do this, I usually make sure to start my cleaning in the bedroom so that I could load the sheets in the laundry while I'm cleaning the rest of the room. But in a normal day where I don't have to change the sheets, I usually start by cleaning and washing the dishes after I've had my brunch. What I load first in the washer is our polyester blanket and then after that, I'm going to load the rest of the sheets. I give a good wipe on our bedside tables and other furnitures at least once a week. I usually use an antibacterial spray and a microfiber cloth but sometimes I switch it up by using the Ajax spray. But I don't really like the Ajax one because it's sticky when you apply it. Now I'm just dusting off the bed and fixing the mattress cover before I put on the bed sheet. Then I'm just going to put on the pillowcases. So we use polyester blanket together with the duvet but sometimes we end up just sleeping on top of the blanket because it seems much softer and warmer to sleep with. Now I'm really happy that I discovered this hack about tying the ends of the duvet because it really doesn't slip anymore and it does help me tidy up easily in the morning after we used it. Then I'm just going to throw some clothes into the laundry bag and fix everything in this couch and my desk. Now I'm moving on to the kitchen but before I start washing the dishes, I'm going to put the blanket in the dryer and the rest of the sheets in the laundry. So we recently celebrated our 6 months of being married and my husband surprised me with an organic cake from a bake shop here in Auckland and it was really good. 
We finished our cake almost immediately and I ended up keeping the cake box because you know that I love to recycle things and I feel like I, I can do something with a box for like DIY or something. Now I'm just putting all the dirty dishes into the sink and I'm going to keep all the leftovers inside the fridge. So I always make sure to clear the table first and wipe it clean before I start washing the dishes. For this, I'm going to use this Ajax spray and the microfiber cloth. Now I'm going to wash the dishes. I had a lot of dirty dishes today and when I have this much of dishes to clean, I usually start by categorizing everything. So I group all the mugs and glasses together and then all the plates and bowls together and then the pots or pans. And then I'm going to start soaping the glasses and mugs first, and then the cutleries. I'm also going to rinse them with water by category, so after soaping the first batch, I'm going to immediately rinse them and then proceed to soaping the second batch and so forth. I really don't like washing large pots in this sink because it's really hard to rinse it considering that the sink is small but I can't do anything about it so... And of course, last but not least, I'm going to wash the sink with dish soap and a soft sponge. Feel all. 
Now, I'm wiping the rice cooker and water heater with an antibacterial spray and a microfiber cloth. So, I have to be honest that I don't do this every day but at least once a week. I usually take out the trash every day and maybe that's because we have a small garbage bin. But even if we have a larger bin, I guess I'd still want the trash to be put out every day because I don't like keeping garbage too long inside the house. Trying to complain, I'm just a little curious cause I see the picture, see the ball. The last thing that I'm going to do in the kitchen is to sweep and mop the floor. So I only mop two rooms in the house and that is the kitchen and the bathroom. I really enjoy using this mop and we only bought it for like $16 if I remember it correctly. To end the day, I'm going to put these sheets in the dryer and then fold the dried blanket and keep it in the closet. Anyway, thank you for watching guys. Please subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more cleaning videos from me. Also, join me in my journey as a newbie wife and I, I hope that you like the videos that I posted already. If you haven't watched them yet, you can find everything on my channel. And if you like, please connect with me on Instagram at lovetrisha12 and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!